<laughs> hey, so we just showed up to the, the job site in the city. This is a project they sold probably back in like April. I think COVID had just hit. They had an old fountain sitting here before. The fountain failed. It was a lot of maintenance. They wanted to bring some impact. And uh, luckily, over here at Aquascape, we have a huge selection of different things you can do. So what we went with was the spheres. Men, women, and children alike out there, it just looks awesome. So cool. And what a statement it makes for this courtyard. What is happening everybody? We have a very unique project today. I am standing inside a courtyard only steps away from Lake Michigan. We are on the sunny north side of Chicago and we are going to be putting in a fountainscape using a trio of our Stack Slate spheres. The boys are rolling up. We've got the Isuzu packed down, loaded up on the street. We got our cones out. This is going to be the canvas for the day. We are going to be doing a 15 foot circle retaining wall, building up 18 inches. And then we are going to be throwing aqua blocks in there. And then in the center, gonna be doing a trio of the Stack Slate spheres to really liven this space up and incorporate the aquascape lifestyle into this unique courtyard. Here are all of the windows. There's a few hundred units in this building that's all going to be looking down onto this gathering space where we're going to be doing a one-of-a-kind stack slate sphere combo it is going to be awesome can't wait to get started looks like logistics are going to be a little bit of a challenge but we're no stranger to that so let's get going Okay, so like I said, this is the canvas. Guys have worked on getting the truck unloaded and all the material in. I'm sitting here looking at the design that Brian had to put together for the homeowners association for approval. So you can kind of see what's going on. We've got the street running along the back right here, which is Sheridan Road right there. So it looks like we got about a 15 foot circle right there. Now that circle, that concrete pad is actually off center from the whole patio area. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the back edge of that concrete slab and work our way out 15 feet across coming back this way and that will that back edge of the concrete slab will be arc based off the back side and we'll go off of that when measuring out the diameter of the circle and getting all of our reference points so that when we build that wall it's a nice even circle all the way around that's what we're gonna recreate okay So we have almost all the brick out. Now this is going to be the outer diameter of our circle. Looks like it gets a little goofy right in here. So we may have to cut a few of them. Circle appears to be a little bit off, but we can easily fix that with our handiwork. We're gonna build a retaining wall using brick. We're gonna go 18 inches tall, and that includes the coping. The liner will end up coming up the inside of the brick and going underneath the coping, and we will put the coping on top of the liner. So the fabric liner, and then the aqua blocks will sit right on top of this concrete footing here we are not going to bother removing that but we are using small aqua blocks here and I believe we have 15 to maintain this space or to occupy this space and have you know approximately 175 gallons of water storage in here probably a little bit more just because there will be some void space because we're doing a circle so we'll have some additional void space that the aqua blocks don't occupy which we will end up filling with gravel inside that liner trio stack slate urns will probably cut a boulder or something into the the wall at some point and then throwing a couple accent boulders that are on top of the reservoir as well just to kind of tie everything together but it's pretty close to being a legit circle now we just have to wait and get our material here from illinois brick and we are ready to roll on getting this retaining wall built
we are at kind of a crossroads or more of a monumental step in the process here. Liner is going in. We've got our retaining wall built all the way around. We don't have the capstone cut yet. We did end up putting a boulder in on the back side of the wall, carving it in so that we can carry over some of the moss rock that we're gonna include in the feature on top of the reservoir itself. Big moment right now is liner's going in. Next, we're gonna put another layer of fabric and then the aqua blocks and pump falls. And then we're gonna start getting gravel over the top of everything and start dry setting those spheres. Okay, so it is the beginning of day two out here at Lakeview Point Condo on the far north side of the city. The first plan of action for today is going to be getting the coping stones all cut and that liner folded back over the top course of brick and sandwiched between the underside of the coping stone and the brick wall so that we can go ahead and start doing the finishing touches on everything else. This is going to be a tricky, not necessarily tricky, but this is going to be very time consuming because we are gonna to have to make probably about 60 different cuts to make this radial brick wall work with the coping stone that we have. Once we get that done, I feel really, really good about the remaining 10% that will be left over after that. We've got a lot of cool plants, both aquatic and terrestrial, to go in and around the fountainscape. We've got to do work on lights and then get the rest of the gravel, but it is going to look incredible once we're all finished. But this is going to take a significant amount of time, so that's why we want to get rolling on it first. Hey, so I just showed up to the, the job site in the city. This is a project I sold probably back in like April. I think COVID had just hit. And I remember meeting with Natasha who's sitting back there in the background. But they had an old fountain sitting here before. The fountain failed. It was a lot of maintenance. They wanted to bring some impact. And uh, luckily, over here at Aquascape, we have a huge selection of different things you can do. So what we went with was the spheres. You can see Udi finishing the touches on the lights going in. You got everybody covered up. Corey over there with a head full of dust. Chris. Yes. Day two, day one and a half, really. It's not even lunchtime yet. How do you think it's going? Always some obstacles. What were the biggest obstacles on this one? I think getting here, finding the electric, the old water lines, everything's busted. The point person on the HOA was had a coronary when she heard that and wanted to know what we were gonna do about it. So making sure that putting her mind at ease was definitely a challenge. Never seeing her face, but only talking to her over the phone. The other challenge is just logistics of things. We are right on Lakeshore Drive or North Lakeshore Drive and we're on a blind corner so people are speeding around so we had to offload like six pallets of material brick got here <laughs> fortunately we are able to double park don't call cpd on us and get us a ticket anybody but we were able to park pretty stinking close and then just access we have a little gate we've got some ball cart sized rocks but getting all the material in and out but fortunately it's closed and the cuts the cuts <laughs> the, yeah the cuts well the, the white boogers see the white <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be awesome. It's going to transform the space. I know everybody living here will much appreciate the hard work that's going in and they've been without a water feature for quite some time. I think the, the spheres work out perfect. We really couldn't have done anything else. We couldn't have done urns because the splash would have definitely exceeded yeah. the drip line. Yeah. So I think it's turning out great. Yeah. Awesome. Can't wait to see it finished. Good job. We made it, we made it just in time. The rain is going to start pouring down any second right now. So we just need to finish up our final push for cleanup and then we are out of here and hopefully we'll beat the storm and there's not much traffic to battle on the way home. Let's plug this sucker in and show you how it looks. Voila, look at that you guys and girls.
that's it, yeah. It's just hooking up a couple things, getting um, the last of the components and stuff. Men, women, and children alike out there, it just looks awesome. So cool. And what a statement it makes for this courtyard. I love the three spheres, the three different sizes. I love the incorporation of the moss rock. We've got some terrestrial or perennial plants on the outside of the liner. We've got some aquatics inside the liner. It just turned out awesome. The guys did a fantastic job working together as a team. We did it. We were short a handful of guys today, but we managed to muscle through and get it done and get it put together Together and it just turned out phenomenal. We've got the pump vault over here located in between blue rug juniper that'll cascade over the side, hopefully disguise some of that vault. We also have corkscrew rush and papyrus, baby papyrus inside the liner. You can see that liner kind of comes back up this way. We weren't able to totally finish this area because the electrician needs to get through here and finish up his work over here. So we're running everything off of one extension cord currently, which is obviously not ideal, but we will be back early next week to button that up once the electrician is done doing his thing but it just looks awesome we've got liner that comes all the way up to the very top of the coping here instead of buttoning it up underneath the coping and laying it down over the top course of wall stone we forwent that forego that we didn't end up doing it that way we just brought it up and then folded it back down so that we get that liner up as high as humanly possible these areas filled with soil are all outside the liner we've got some blooming hydrangeas here we threw some creeping jenny out in the landscape as well we've got a series of ball valves back here one two three valve boxes that go to their respective urns so we'll finish up all that you can see how high water level is in comparison to the vault but we are wrapped I hope you enjoyed this video fountainscape turned out more incredible than I could have imagined we've already had tons and tons of people from all over the building come out and tell us how great it looks and how proud they are to have it and how happy they are that we were contracted to come out and install this one-of-a-kind custom creation let me stop filming and help these guys finish up cleanup so we can get the heck out of here. If you like what you saw, please let us know in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. I don't know why you wouldn't. It'd be insane. But check us out next time, every Tuesday, Thursday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, Team Aquascape. This is Chris, and we're signing off. Peace.